Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to G-Bears Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. There's our current stats for outdoors, and uh, down to 59 degrees now. I did see a high of 62 today. 11 mile an hour winds coming out of the northeast, so I've got a little bit of a wind chill out there. And it's 3.30 in the afternoon, and we still have under an inch of rain for the year. But... We just started February, right? February? Oh my God, we're almost near the 4th of July. Oh, God. Yeah. So anyway, dogs are all fed. And uh, we got some clouds moving into the area here. Uh, haven't seen any predictions of rain. But uh, after the long, long wait... I finally got the parts I needed to get the turbine back online. Now, where did you get that, Gillis? There's going to be a fight over that one. That belongs to Doggy Daddy. That was the, uh, the treat bones I, I gave him out. Doggy Daddy, I guess, didn't want it. And Gillis found it. And now somebody's going to try to take it from Gillis. And there'll be a fight. And I'll have to break it up. So let's get going. So anyway, as I was saying, finally after a long, long wait, I finally got the uh, parts I needed to get my turbine. Uh, well, it, it's still been online. I just haven't been able to tell uh, what kind of... Uh, production I was getting off of it because the rectifier and the um, high precision watt meter and I got a spam call coming in let me kill that um, anyway yeah this uh, this one took the longest coming in and uh, Right now, there's a, like you just saw, there's 11 mile an hour wind out there, and that's just about where this thing will start producing some uh, power. But um, I did see it earlier, and it was jumping up on the amps and um, the watts and that stuff coming out. But it's uh, just not moving fast enough out there with the winds right now to do it. Now, this is a um, 200 amp. And this is a 200 amp unit. It says right there at the top, 200 amp. And that's something that uh, really aggravates me. I didn't pay attention at the time that I was ordering that online. And uh, I just typed in 200 amp and I saw this one that had a decent price. I clicked on it and uh, I got it sent here. Well, very interesting enough, it came all the way from China. And here is the paperwork that came with it. Now, let me get this thing open here. I want to show you something that really aggravates the hex out of me. All the hex, not just one, all the hex. Uh, let's see if I can find where it was. Um, Somewhere in here, it says that uh, oh, here, right there. It'll carry up to 130 amps. Okay, wait a minute. It says 200 amps. Carries up to 130 amps. What the heck is that all about? Now I had a 150 amper in here that said it would handle 150 amps and that one burnt up. Now this one says 130 amps max. If that burns up on me, I am really going to be pissed. And uh, I'm going to use this video as uh, my complaint. And I've said it before. Uh, the Chinese 
just don't they just not held to um, any restrictions and they they uh, over exaggerate the outputs of some some of their junk so I've learned over the years that uh, things like a generator Okay, the generator says 6,500 max starting watts, 5,500 watt running watts. Now, why is the 6,500 there at all? If that's all you get when it starts, and then it drops down to 55, then it's a 5,500 watt generator. It's not a 6,500 watt generator. And I've heard people who have actually um, just bought this stuff just to test it out that they've uh, they put meters on these things and on that 5500 running watts they never see it it runs at like nearly half that which is like 3000 watts or so that's just irritating you know how are they allowed to to keep selling stuff in the United States, when they lie to us on what we're getting, that's not a good thing. So, anyway, let me get this thing closed up here because it's starting to chill down. And yes, I'm still in the hurt here. Um, my my ankle is like ninety percent. It's it's really doing good but what I've really hurts right now is my knee you see this lump right here it's just a little bit of swelling right there on the knee and I don't know where it came from I don't know if I bumped it during the night or whatever but it sure doesn't feel good so anyway that's all I have for today I just wanted to get out and get that going um, uh, I did get five eggs today, which is an increase, and they've only been on that uh, that new diet now for four days, so it looks like the diet is working, but I'm not going to jump to conclusions yet. I'm going to give it uh, a full two weeks to see, uh, with them on the diet for two weeks, how things come out. So they're going to go after birds now. They gotta chase the birds around the desert. I don't did notice that both Patches and Dioji have uh, some pretty deep wounds on their uh, hindquarter, and uh, I tried uh, spraying it with an animal pr protectant for big cuts and bruises like that, and they just licked it right off. So. Uh, just gonna have to keep an eye on it make sure that it doesn't um, get too bad off there's no flies so I'm not worried about it uh, getting filled with bacteria and festering or anything like that um, anyway that's all I have for today everybody thanks for joining me don't forget your thumbs up down there remember this year for the whole year free 100% free subscriptions Click on that subscribe button and it doesn't cost you a penny. Thanks for joining me. This is G-Bear signing off.